Hey folks, it's Greg from Greg Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. <clears throat> what I've done here is made a portable fire pit. Okay, this is made out of a Freon cylinder and a few extra parts. So let me start showing you how I went about doing this. Okay, so the first thing I did was to go out and pick up an empty Freon cylinder. Okay. I decided how tall I wanted this burner to be and I marked all the way around it at the top which is about an inch and a quarter above this weld line okay so about an inch and a quarter I marked it all the way around and cut it with a hacksaw so here it is you can see the top still on it okay took a hacksaw cut all the way around it and opened it up this took about 20 minutes you can use a Dremel tool if you want to, but you're going to burn up a lot of wheels doing that. And I just didn't want to cut up the extra material by using a 4-inch grinder. So, that's what that was my next step. My next step after that was these three legs at the bottom. Okay? If you look at the original cylinder, it's got these three these three legs right here okay and what I did since those are the lowest point in the tank and it will most likely sit outside at some point and get rained on I decided to go ahead and drill holes from the inside through that okay that gives me drainage I don't have to worry about it next I took a magic marker and marked all the way around the circumference of it <clears throat> and determined where I was going to put my legs because I wanted legs on it to get it up off the floor so that these holes weren't actually touching anything now if you're going to be outside they're going to be touching that's a given so <clears throat> I went to the hardware store and picked up some stainless steel carriage bolts they're inch and a quarter long my 3 8 diameter I got flat washers, nuts, <clears throat> and I don't know if you can see it, no you can't see it, there's a lock washer and a nut on the inside, so <clears throat> that's how I made the legs, it keeps it up off the bottom, and if you look really close you can see daylight shining through those holes. So, it's off the bottom. I don't have to worry about it sitting on a wooden table and possibly catching it on fire unless sparks fall through. The next thing I did was to mark out for these holes. Okay? There's 16 of them all the way around. The way that I did that was I took a piece of typing paper and cut about a three-quarter inch wide strip I cut three of them okay I taped them together taped two of them together taped the third one on and then <clears throat> before I taped the third the ends of the first and third piece together I wrapped it around the tank so that it would fit snug taped it in place now as you can see this fits really snug all the way around okay so the next step is that I wanted 16 holes okay so what I did is I took this piece of paper tape and I folded it in half okay I creased the end of it 
took a magic marker and made a mark right on the edge right on the very edge of it okay pulled that out folded the other end made another mark right on the edge okay so the next step is to take those two folded edges this one here and this one here pull them together and line those up perfectly okay once they're lined up perfectly then you can pull this out that you make another mark and you do that on the other side and you keep doing that folding it until you've got 16 equally spaced marks after I did that I put the tape back on this canister and I marked it for each hole okay I took a drill and I marked I drilled half inch holes all the way through okay these are evenly spaced you don't have to worry about measuring anything because you've already got this marked out here on this tape you've got 16 holes marked on that drill those holes out you've got your legs in you got the holes in the bottom next thing you need is a feeder so I went off the label you can see right here it lines up with the label I went off the label and lined down below this mark below this weld the reason I went below that weld is because if you look very closely inside here and I don't think you can see it the lower portion slides up upper portion slides around and outside the lower portion and that's where it's welded together so it gives you a little extra strength inside there You can see the weld, you can see the heat from the weld, but there's a lip right here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I can't show you that. However, the next step is to cut this hole out. And I used a Dremel with a cutting wheel on it because I really didn't want to waste the extra material just in case I want to put this piece back in as a door. So, <clears throat> I've got this hole cut out. It's a feeder hole. The next thing I need is a grate for the top and a grate for the bottom. What I came up with is most likely what you saw when you saw my video on making the little wood stove for the ice shack. This is the bottom grill for a, a Weber, Weber Smoky Joe okay it's bigger in, in diameter than the tank which means it'll sit on top I don't have to worry about uh, tipping it and I can put a frying pan right on top of it so now I need a grate for the inside because I need something to keep the wood up off the bottom I've got the air holes all the way around and I found at my shop where I work a fan guard this is the front screen of a fan I cut it down to size and it fits perfectly in the bottom of this so that I can load that up with wood put my grill on top of it put my frying, frying pan on top of that and I can cook I can continue to feed fire or wood in here for the fire now <clears throat> one other thing that I did is I had a bucket handle that the bucket was busted it was worthless but I don't throw away good iron because I used to be a blacksmith I had a bucket handle 
I bent it, shaped it, so that I can slide it right in there, just like that, and pick that grill up off of there while it's still hot. Now I still have a fire pit that I can roast marshmallows or wieners or make s'mores or whatever you want to out of. So, anyway, this is Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. This is my portable fire pit. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel.